Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the sum of the roots of this equation. And of course, before we can do this, first of all, we have to solve the given equation. To solve this equation, let us start by bringing these two terms on the right hand side over to the left hand side. When we do that, this equation becomes 4 times x minus root x squared plus 7 root x minus 2 minus 7x is equal to 0. Now, when you look at these two terms, you're going to see a common factor, which is 7. So let us factorize that. We have 4 times x minus root x squared minus 7. Now, minus 7x divided by minus 7 is equal to x and plus 7 root x divided by minus 7 is equal to minus root x. Now we have minus 2 and this is equal to 0. Now you can see that we have x minus root x and we have x minus root x. So let x minus root x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation is going to be 4 times d squared minus 7 times d minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this quadratic equation. Let us use the table method. The factors of 4d squared are d and 4d. While the factors of minus 2 are minus 2 and 1. d times 1, of course, is equal to d. And 4d times minus 2 is equal to minus 8d. And minus 8d plus d is equal to minus 7d. So from here, we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are d minus 2 and 4d plus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, you know that this simply means that either d minus 2 is equal to 0 or 4d plus 1 is equal to 0. When we add 2 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 2. From here, we have that 4d is equal to minus 1. And dividing both sides of this equation by 4, we have that d is equal to minus 1 over 4. But let us not forget that d is equal to x minus root x. So this simply means that x minus root x is equal to 2 or in this case x minus root x is equal to minus 1 over 4. Now to solve these two equations we are going to do one more substitution. So let the square root of x be equal to y and of course you know that this comes with the condition that y must be greater than or equal to 0 because a square root cannot be negative. Now, if you square both sides of this equation, you have that x is equal to y squared. Coming to the first equation, we have x, that is y squared, minus root x, which is y, is equal to 2. Rearranging this equation, we have y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. We can factorize this equation. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 2 that add up to minus 1. And they are going to be minus 2 and 1. Because minus 2 times 1 is going to give us minus 2. While minus 2 plus 1 is going to give us minus 1. So here we have y minus 2 and y plus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that either 
y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y plus 1 is equal to 0. From here we have that y is equal to 2 and from here we have that y is equal to minus 1. But then let us remember that y must be greater than or equal to 0. So this value of y is not acceptable. And of course, from here, we can find the value of x because we have that x is equal to y squared. So we have that x is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. And in the second case, once more, we have x, which is y squared minus square root of x, which is y. And this is equal to minus 1 over 4. Now, to straighten out this equation and get rid of this fraction, let us multiply through by 4. y squared times 4 is 4y squared minus y times 4 is 4y. And this is equal to minus 1 over 4 times 4 is minus 1. Rearranging this equation, we have 4y squared minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this equation. We have 4y squared minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. Once more, we use the table method. The factors of 4y squared are 2y and 2y, while the factors of 1 are minus 1 and minus 1, because of course you know that minus 1 times minus 1 is equal to plus 1. When we multiply this by this, we have minus 2y. And when we multiply this by this, we have minus 2y. And minus 2y minus 2y is equal to minus 4y. So we can factorize this equation as 2y minus 1 multiplied by 2y minus 1. And of course, this is equal to zero and since these two are exactly the same from here we have that 2y minus 1 is equal to zero and of course 2y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 over 2. Once more from this equation we can find the value of x so we have that x is equal to y squared that is 1 over 2 squared which is equal to 1 over 4. So finally the two values of x that satisfy this equation are x equal to 4 and x equal to 1 over 4 and to answer the question and find their sum we have that the sum is equal to 4 plus 1 over 4. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 17 over 4. So the sum of the roots of this equation is 17 over 4. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.